So this presentation about nanometer size and non-stoichiometry bitmatter phosphate for uh, LIB from the spoketical hydrosomal synthesis. So it is needless to say how important energy storage devices are in nowadays, and lots of researchers have a pursuit to develop um, next generation and efficient energy storage devices. One of the candidates will be LFP, but it contains obvious advantages and disadvantages as follows. First of all, it shows reasonably high specific capacity and uh, especially good capacity retention. It is also superior in terms of economically low cost, structural stability, and environmentally friendly. However, several critical drawbacks as following will be the greatest hurdle to make it commercial use. First of all, uh, it contains low lithium diffusion constant, uh, and especially when we have uh, active material contains uh, Fe ion, one has to keep in mind the preventive formation of Fe3 plus because it is really difficult to reduce from Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus. Other drawback is like a intrinsic problem. So if we can solve above this problem, we can consider LFP as a good candidate for commercial uses because of their superior retention stability. So let's think about some shortcoming number one and number two. So considering the crystal structure of LFP, the LI ion is difficult to move, especially along X axis and G axis. Important bonding site for Li ion in crystal is oxygen atoms. So if we somehow reduce the amount of oxygen in unit crystal, enough space to Li ion pathway can be formed in crystal as following. So this is the reason why we call this strategy as non-stoichiometry lithium ion phosphate. And one more advantage for oxygen poor crystal is that it provides a poor oxygen environment for poor crystal. So one can do reduction, one can prevent formation of Fe3 plus ion uh, relatively easily. So in terms, in addition, in terms of crystal uh, structure study, oxygen poor structure deform the crystal structure. So, and we can generate totally new type of crystal structure implying free from the patent issues as well. So, here our focus will be the reduction of oxygen number on crystal. And um, by doing that, we can get these kinds of advantage. And we choose for crystal, super critical hydrosomal method to make it successful far away. So here is a simple SM image showing how, showing how good this material look like. And the nanometer size domain is successfully fabricated via a super critical method. In the XR, XR the spectrum of a normal LFP, and we just the LFP, we can see totally different crystal structures uh, can be obtained from the spoken method. By analysis of a crystal group, normal LFPs are in SG number uh, 62, but our one is in SG number 33. Based on above XLD analysis, we can obtain atomic ratio of each crystal, and in addition, we can control the amount of ratio of each element by adjusting experimental conditions. TM analysis also proved that our crystal contains somehow imperfection in lattice structure. So compared to the perfection diffraction pattern uh, of a normal LFP, we can see some grooves in lattice, meaning some imperfection in crystal. We can also see differences in diffraction pattern on here. Reduced LFP can also be proven by FTIL analysis. So oxygen poor environment uh, will affect on the stretching vibration of a PF4. And as presented on here, we can see some shift of a PF4 stretching uh, compared to normal LFP. So we wanted to make sure if really the there really is increment of uh, um, LI ion mobility when we take out some amount of oxygen. So as it illust illustrated in here, so conductivity of LI ion of uh, um, our LFP is 10 times or more higher than normal LFP, meaning our simulation and crystal structure study is well matched with the real cases. One of the main advantage of LFP is retention stability. Here, when we increase uh, the charge discharge rate from the one C to 135 C, we can see cell is still alive. This is somehow surprising because uh, although we have only 
50% of capacity, but we can still have a 50% of capacity when we charge it for only 26 seconds. So we can see great stability in over 400 cycles. And in addition, by improved uh, LI ion mobility, so NS non stoichiometry LFP shows less nominal voltage drop and the gap between charge and discharge potential and the capacity capacity loss with the increasing CA rate in comparison to um, normal LFP. So in, improve the LI ion mobility and the lower impedance uh, resulting in less nominal voltage drop. And in addition, when we try to find the optimal ratio of LFP, uh, so when the atomic ratio reached to P uh, 0.96 to all oxygen 3.94 and we can get maximum capacity. However, when we de decrease the amount of oxygen more, so we can see dramatically drops in capacity can be found, meaning breakage of crystal structures. Finally, if we check the uh, mass power spectroscopy of LFP and all the commercial like the one contains a certain amount of um, Fe3 plus, in active materials, uh, but in our cases, we can see 100% of Fe2 plus ion in oxygen poor crystals. Finally, we can also check the Fe2 plus ion uh, via NMR spectroscopy over 3A electrodes.